Butch Hubbard here sitting in for Bob Morgan. In the news today, today is the last day of early voting here in Wayne County and across the state of Georgia. The time today is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to vote. The location is at the Hall Richardson Rec Center located at 644 North 4th Street in Jessup. On Thursday, 350 more registered voters cast their ballots. That brings the number of early votes in Wayne County to 4,678 heading into the last day of early voting. Once again, election date is Tuesday, November the 8th, with polls opening up at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. WIFO-FM will be your election headquarters Tuesday evening as Wayne County has two contested races for county commission seats. District 4 is a race between longtime incumbent James Boot Thomas. He is challenged by Fred Anderson. In District 5, Jamie Hickox is on the ballot and has opposition from write-in candidate Jackie Hoyt. Both races will be decided by Wayne County voters on Tuesday, November the 8th, and WIFO will have the results Tuesday night. The county commissioner is set to meet Monday night at 6 p.m. in courtroom C. The big item on the agenda is the approval of the 2023 budget. We'll be back with more news after these commercial messages. Ready to buy new. The 18th annual Day for Wayne was held yesterday at the Clanton River Ranch, and it's a day for Wayne County to showcase itself to state leaders in hopes of attracting business and industry to Wayne County. WIFO FM on hand, and we talk with IDA Director Del Keith on the importance of such of an event. This is a big day for Wayne County, Bob. It, this gives us an opportunity to show off our community, what we have to offer, everything that's got we've got going on. We've got a lot of momentum going on right now in our community, and uh, it's it's a great day. Well, it's been said about the industrial park. Uh, give us the update on that. Well, we're in there trying to get some stumps out right now. We're trying to uh, prepare about 160 uh, acres of what's called uh, site ready property. Uh, we've got to get the stumps out. We've got the uh, grant money that we got with the city that we're going to put the water and sewer in with. That's going to happen probably the middle of next year. And then also when the T-Splash passed, uh, we got the Spine Road and the uh, desail lane from on Highway 84 into the new park. So all that stuff's going to start coming together probably the end of 2023, the first of 2024, uh, have some real good product to sell for some of these industries. Yeah, that tea spots is important. I said last time one county didn't, but this time we did, so. That's right. Well, we benefited from it. That's <laughs> right. Lesson, we should benefit from it again. That's right. It's big for us, it really is. And uh, we were happy at the IDA and the Chamber to, uh, to support that. And it did pass this year, and we we're very fortunate for that. But uh, it means a lot for Wayne County. It, it means that the Wayne County folks don't have to foot all the bill for these roads and stuff. Get, get back to day for Wayne. Like I said, this is a day to showcase Wayne County and show what we got. Uh, we make a lot of contacts. Uh, they invite state leaders, uh, people from the federal government down here. So it's good for them to come down here. Like I said, get to know a name, make a contact, makes it easier for you when you go to Atlanta. That's right. It's all about creating relationships, and we do that with this event. We have folks from uh, the state economic development department. Uh, you know, the site consultants that, that we deal with. We go back and forth to Atlanta probably about once a month to the GEDA monthly meetings, which gives us an opportunity to network with a lot of those folks and give us an opportunity to say what we have down here and, and uh, invite them to come down. And we have had quite a few that have made the trip. You got a favorite event? They have so many events. You got a favorite? For, for day for one, so we have the hunt and shoot, skeeting. I mean, I just wonder if there's any. Oh, I, I I personally like the uh, uh, the shooting up here with the pheasants and stuff like that. <laughs> it's easy for me. I can stand behind behind the hay bale and just shoot when I get an opportunity. That's yeah, all I have to do. So but that, like, that's my favorite. You like the pheasant hunt? Like that's it. right. Okay, Dale. Appreciate you talking with us. All right, Bob. Thank you. And that was IDA Director Dale Keith. It's a political year, and several politicians seeking re-election Tuesday on hand. State Representative Stephen Meeks on Tuesday's ballot, and he is hoping for another term in the state legislature representing Wayne County. Here is his comments about a day for Wayne and getting out and voting. 
Tech representative Stephen Meeks was also on the ballot on Tuesday. Early voting's underway. I know you want to encourage all your votes to get out there and support you. Absolutely. Thank you. And it's a great day to be out at uh, Clanton River Ranch here for a uh, day for Wayne, a great crowd, and uh, opportunity to showcase the uh, the community and our and what we have to offer here. And, and um, you know, just shake some hands and uh, get to see everybody and, uh, and, and remind everybody that voting is uh, upon us. I was talking to my IDA director, Dale Keith, earlier. He talks about how important it is to make these connections. Uh, you're up at the state capitol all the time. It's nice to know these people on a first-name basis, bring them down here to showcase Wayne County. It is. It's a great opportunity to bring folks down and showcase the community and what we have to offer so that when opportunities do come available when it comes to economic development, that they know uh, who to call. And Dale Keith does such a tremendous job uh, here in Wayne County of keeping Wayne County at the forefront of the minds of uh, economic leader leaders around the state. And it's great just to have that that personal connection with these individuals uh, at the state level. As I mentioned, you're on the ballot, but you're concerned about the statewide races as well, the governor's race, the race for U.S. Senate. Talk to us how important these races are for the Republican Party. Well, I think when we look at the, today's uh, today's election, at this t at this time in, in our lives, I believe that this is one of the most pivotal elections in history uh, on where we want our state to go and where we want our nation to go. And it's really important that uh, voters turn out to vote and uh, we elect leaders that represent our values. In, uh, in our community. Okay, well, good luck Tuesday. Great, thanks so much. And those are the comments of State Representative Stephen Meeks. On Monday, we will hear from Congressman Betty Carter, who was also in attendance at A Day for Wayne. We'll be back with some final notes in news after these commercial messages. Finally in the news, several events being held this weekend. First, the Veterans Day Parade, Saturday morning in downtown Jessup. The time of the parade is at 10 a.m. If you need more information, call Alexis at Banks Real Estate. The phone number is 912-559-2142. Also Saturday, the Wayne County Board of Tourism's Big Bug Banquet, where they'll, be, where they'll announce the winners of the eight-day contest. The event Saturday at 630 at the Jessup Shrine Club. Also Saturday night at the Wayne County Farmer's Market, Market to Midnight, an event to benefit Hospice of South Georgia, 6 p.m. to midnight. Tickets are $20 per person and $30 per couple. For more information, call 912-588-0080. Daylight saving time comes to an end this Sunday at 2 a.m., so make sure make certain you turn your clocks back one hour before heading to bed tomorrow night. Daylight saving time will resume on March 12, 2023. But once again, it ends this Sunday at 2 a.m., so turn your clocks back one hour before going to bed Saturday night. And that's been a look, a look at local news right here on Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup.